Welcome back to the breakdown. Ben Bobick, Lyndon Blake, Tropical Storm Emily forcing us inside, but it's not forcing the manta rays, the Lemon Bay manta rays from practice. Nope, they came out with full vengeance today in their gym, but they were still going just as hard as if they were out there on their field because it's the first day of practice and everyone here is so excited to really kick off this football season. Absolutely, and you speak of vengeance and you speak about how tough this football team is. Their motto is one of the more unique things you'll see in Florida because they consider themselves the toughest team in Florida. Or better known as TTTIF or TT TIFF as I just called it, which yeah. eh, it works. Yeah, I guess so, but you get the point how much this team believes in themselves. They're bringing back around 15 starters from last year's football team in a wide open, wide open District 11 5A with Southeast Booker Hardy's bringing a lot back. So, and they're they're building it all around one guy, and his name is Hayden Wolf. Quarterback, junior, he's got to rec receive an offer from Kentucky. It's a lot of other, number of other Division One um, looks, and this kid just is, his maturity level is one thing is I've, 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 I haven't seen before in a 16. To paint a better picture of his maturity level, Coach Southwell was telling us when he went up to some of these college visits, he's 16. He went by himself, drove, well not drove himself, but got into Uber and Ubered around town all alone, and that was one of the things in Kentucky that they're like, we want him because you need someone with that maturity at the quarterback position that's going to keep the team calm in situations and lead them to victory. Yeah, and, and, and Coach Southwell said there's a, he's the former defensive coordinator, new coach this year for the Manta Rays, but familiar face. He was defensive coordinator for the last 10 years. He's been here for almost 17 years at Lemon Bay. So it's an easy transition for the team. But for him, you know, he's, he's switching from defense to offense, and he was mentioning some some of the times where he would actually forget some motions or some calls. because It's been a while for him, and, and, and Hayden would go in the, in the huddle and call it anyway because he, he just that type of He's a yes sir, no sir type of guy, and I think the the future is so bright for him and for this Manta Rays football team who really could win this district. Hardy's going to be tough. Southeast is always tough. Booker's always tough. But with these guys back in this experience and this in this, they're going to be the toughest team in football, and it may just lead them to the district title. They really want to use this camp time to gel together. You heard them mention a lot today at practice. We have a lot more discipline this year. We're working still on more discipline and to gel together, have that team chemistry. And if they do that, they think they could be the district champs. And we'll find out. Obviously, they kick off their season on August 18th. We'll be down here plenty of times with our Friday Football Fever show. And we'll be back plenty of times with more breakdowns as we continue to roll through our Friday Football Fever previews. Practice officially kicks off on the 31st. So we're rocking and rolling, and we'll see you next time.